We've got a little um, sewing machine here, Janine, oh, on the table. Singer. Yeah, it's a singer. That's wow. cool. That's a good pickup for somebody who does like flea markets and stuff. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Shine Bright Doggo. I'm here with Janine, who's behind the wheel, and we are going trash picking. So excited. It has been raining for weeks. For, for a long time here in uh, New York, New Jersey area. So trash picking has been a no-go for us. Yeah, and we're really excited to be back. If you guys are new to our trash picking videos, Janine and I travel about an hour away from where we live to go trash picking in this pretty great area. They host or have um, bulk trash picking once a week during the summer and fall. And we like to go out there, see what we can save from the landfill, either pick up for our own personal use, to donate or to resell. Today we're in Janine's Subaru, which is quite spacious, but do keep in mind that when we go out, we're really just picking out stuff that makes sense for us. We do know that we leave behind a lot of stuff that is perfectly usable, in good condition, could be resold, could be used, etc., etc. Um, but there are a lot of trash pickers who go out every um, weekend to do this as well. So we have full confidence that a lot of stuff does get saved and does not go to the landfill. But we like to have a fun time, right, Janine? Just bring everybody yeah. along. We do this for stuff to keep or stuff to bring to the uh, thrift stores. You know, stuff that could use a second life. Yeah, so, uh, so... But let us know if there's anything you would pick up that we left behind. We're going to head out. It's a beautiful day out, so come and join us as we go trash picking. Last time I got many comments saying that the sleds I picked up weren't a toboggan. So for the, those of you, here's an actual toboggan. Um... I learned my lesson. That's a toboggan right there. I don't there. think that would even fit in our car. No. We're using Janine's uh, Subaru today. So that's something to keep in mind. Look at that old chair. That's a nice chair. It's an older it chair. Is. That's a nice grill. <laughs> I don't think we're picking up chairs today, though. No, but it's a cool chair. It's in cleats. Would you pick up that chair? Let us know in the comments. This is like a giant pile over here, but it looks like it's like the full driveway. What Maybe is going moving? on? There's a bunch of bins. I could use a bin. Wow. Are we allowed to like look through it? It mostly looks like bins, to be honest. Some lamps over there. Like, this is. This is. I'm gonna hop out. There's no cars in the driveway, so I feel not as shy. They've like filled their driveway. Um. A lot of bins. Oh, look at that filled with water. Wow. Did it rain? I guess it rained. Oh, huh. okay. It's like a piano. I don't think I'm gonna take anything though. Yeah, okay. Um, mostly everything was like covered in water and it was bins and not really worth picking up anything, but very interesting. Got a little pile here. Um, this older box caught my eye. But, oh, is it an older nativity? Yeah, that's like an older nativity. I, I, is it older? Eh, I can't tell. I don't know if all the things are in there. I took a closer look at that nativity and there were like no uh, pieces to it, so I left it behind. Um, and the other stuff wasn't too exciting. And then the homeowner came out and I felt awkward, so I left. <laughs> it's always like easing back into trash picking. It's like the first like 30 minutes, it's like, ooh, I don't know, I feel a little uncomfortable. And then, um, and then you're like, whatever. Yeah, you know? yeah. Like, I have no shame. I'm hoping we find an ice maker new in the box sealed. That's what I'd like to find today. Straight? Yeah, or, or you can go left, either way. Got ourselves a little pile here. I had my gloves, I think, in the car. I think I brought them, so I'll probably put on gloves at some point. Um, but it looks like these are books and toys. Learn Greek and ancient civilizations. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to take up Greek in my spare time. But there's a lot of... Uh, good books. Here's Where's Waldo. Classic. Maybe we'll take that for Janine. She enjoys little things like that. And then here, what is this? Travel Chinese Checkers. 
lie detector. That's cool, it's a little bit older. Something Christmassy here. Just an older box, that's sort of cute. And I think that's it. I'll take Waldo for Janine. Where's Waldo? There you go. In this pile, I think there's a bunch of picture frames, which I might pick up. Nice picture frames. I think I'm going to pick these up, go through them, maybe toss a few back. But they could be really nice vintage ones. Okay, in this pile, we'll call my over these tomato thingamajigs. I might need one, but... And then there are some Melissa and Doug puzzles, but I don't think I'm going to pick up any of those. Kids boots. I might go back down to that pile. Janine's over there. Let's walk over there. So as an update, I couldn't find my gloves in the car. So I won't be wearing gloves today. Sorry, everyone at home, but I do have Purell. We have lots of Purell and we use it after literally almost every spot. So even though you don't see me using it, I definitely am. Okay, here's the pile. We've got some old phones, some bags. It's like a monitor, I guess. This is empty, I just checked it. Um, and this... Oh, it's got like headrests for a car. Those are for a car. Interesting, okay. Nothing at the spot. Glad we checked it out though. Because you never know. Little clown guy. On these two but then look guys i just came across this that looks older older tin plane so we will take that um a lot of books that's cool look at that older tabs cute older mickey gotta save him Aww. A little plush, kill us for sure. Um, made in Italy. Grab that. Oh my god, you still have that cup. I was uh, eating my sandwich. Oh, okay. Look, Janine, look at the plush. And then it's like an older um, airplane tin. Oh, wow. So that's pretty cool, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put this in the car and then come back out, I think. This is cool. There's a lot of books, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, I grabbed that, too. I was trying to see if there are any um, goosebumps. There might be, but yeah. Janine just noticed that this one doesn't have the uh, tires on the back, so I'm gonna put it back. Um, yeah, a lot of books in here. A lot of nice frames, too. Some books in here. Alright, we'll do another dig through. Easter eggs? Yeah. More Easter eggs. Easter eggs. Yeah. That was a fun little stop. Um, I picked up not much else, just one other picture frame, um, but I'm really curious about that tin airplane. That's really interesting. Oh, it's tin? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's vintage. Oh, that's fun. Maybe a reproduction, I don't know, but we'll have to see. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna continue on. We, we just spotted a few bags of plush. And if there's anything you need to know about Janine and I, we really enjoy plush. Wouldn't you say, Janine? What? Wouldn't you say? Wouldn't I say what? We really enjoy plush? We do. Okay. Yeah, we really can't help ourselves. There's just something about, I've always been a stuffed animal girl. Yeah. So, 
when I see three bags of plush on the side of the road. I'm gonna check it out. Now, I might not pick up all of them, but, or, any of them. or any of them, but I'm gonna look without a doubt. Else yeah, oh, Giant Dora. These are a little bit newer. Would you hold? And I'll open unless you want to open. Oh, you know what, Janine? You have your gloves. I should, mm -hmm. I should put them on. I like to try to open them if possible instead of like ripping through them. Yeah, we don't like just... to rip anything. Also, like the bag's protecting them. Like if you rip it open and it starts to like shower, like it's going to ruin the plush more. And they need mm. to be ruined. So it does take a little bit of patience, but just a little bit. It's worth it. We got this little guy. Aww. Look at all these doors. Dora and they're well loved. Little Dora. You got a Simon Says thing. Oh. Simon too. Um, oh, he's cute. Baby yeah, Gap. Baby Gap. Yeah, there's a Build-A-Bear in here. Um, mm. Yeah, nothing for me. Or Janine, I guess. No. What the? Ew, what? she like crawls. What is she? She like crawls. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. That's a nightmare. Put her down. <laughs> Put her Put back. back in, please. Yeah, there's a camera down there, but probably newer. Yeah, it looks newer. Okay. And little frog friends that I saw from the window and Janine's like, what'd you say? Frogs? Frogs? I mean, yeah, there's frogs out here. Do we tell her? There's little garden, uh, like, frog things. Are they together? What do you like, mean? they're not broken? No holes? Oh, I don't think so. They're okay. They're not the cutest, but she puts it in a park. <laughs> Jumps out of the car. Head dives out. Frogs. Oh, they're not like frogs by themselves. I mean, they're frogs. Oh, you meant just like frog by themselves. Without rocks attached to them, maybe? Mm -hmm. What was that welcome one? It's just a frog. And that one has frogs. It says. Oh, look at Janine. Oh, he could repaint his little eye. He's cute. I like him. Yeah. Aww. He's from AC Moore. Yeah, he does need a little bit of help, but his little face is cute. If I don't break him. This little gold thing intrigued me. It's like covered in stuff, but it's sort of cute. Um, oh, it's got like, it's in the original packaging. You know, I might take it and clean it up. Um, it's definitely vintage. And I think it might be fun to display some of our smalls that we just got on there. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. I was thinking we could even put the smalls on it that we got to display. Yeah, flip it over. No, I, I see what you're saying. It goes like this way, but I yeah. can't do it with one hand. I'm going to pop it in the back and look back in the pile. Sort of interesting, probably from like the 70s, 60s. I'm going to pop it right here. It definitely needs to be like cleaned out um, desperately. Sort of gross. Lifelong baked on finish. Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna go back and look. Let's see. Looks like there might be a nutcracker over there. And the only other thing I want to see was in here. There's some like new looking shoes, but I don't think I'm gonna pick any of them up. They're like brand new though. Brand new kids. Hmm. What size are they? A nine. Too big for me. Yeah, they're like nines and tens. Okay. Pretty cool. Is there anything in here? No. I think that's it. I wonder what that thing is. Umbrella stand? I don't know. R.I.P. to that broken blow mold candlestick right there, guys. Laura couldn't even decide what it was. I didn't even see it. I know. That's how destroyed it is. R.I.P. But this is a really nice, like, ottoman. I mean, I know it's not called an ottoman. I don't know what it's Chase. called. Chase. But it's, like, destroyed on the end. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty gross. It is really gross, actually. See it on the end, guys. Oh, blow mold. Bye. Bye. I spotted Halloween in here. So I just figured I'd take a look. Hey, it's Halloween. Oh, newer, I think. 
little gross and dirty. Um, a little too new for us. We typically like to pick up stuff from like the 90s and you know older, so I don't think we'll pick up any of that. But I also do see a dinosaur in there. So maybe I'll try to look, open this up for Janine. There's actually a lot of toys in here. Look at that. Okay, so I got it open. 1997 for Janine. She's not even looking, so I don't think she knows that I see dinosaurs. Um, some horses. Janine also likes to flip the briar ponies when she can find them at the flea market. Not the flea market, the thrift store for a good price. Um, Smurf, newer Smurf. Cow. Thomas the Tanks. Some Thomas stuff can resell. Oh, there's water in here. Gross. And there's like some wooden ones in there. I guess it rained here. Huh. Okay, I'm gonna maybe ask Janine if she wants to come look at these and pick me out. Otherwise, I'm gonna leave because I don't really know too much about this kind of stuff. I have this other drawer. Um, some older things in here. This is a newer Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle from like 2013 or 14. Um, like Jasmine in here. Actually, these might be mostly newer. This is fun if you like work at flea markets. You can pick this whole thing up and go to the flea market. They feel a little moldy or something. I don't know, not moldy, but like something on them. Alright, I think that's it for me. I'm gonna tell Janine about this, but I'm just gonna grab her the dino. Alright guys, we are back from trash picking. Now I do have to say, not the biggest haul we've had. It was a beautiful day out, but there wasn't a ton of stuff out, right Janine? Yeah, it's a lot of um, a lot of trash. Mm -hmm. Um a lot of pool ladders. I think a lot of people got pools this year. Go figure. A lot of people <laughs> put out stuff that they had to get rid of because it's garbage and not it was it was good garbage it, it's good it, it's a good it was a good day if you were a scrap metal mm, person yes uh so a lot of scrap sure. metal people out there so great day yep. for them not quite what we do but we did manage to come away yeah, with some stuff some cool yeah stuff. now i did walk away from one of the houses with a big um bag of vintage picture frames um and i started to go through them and they were really moldy like they, a lot of them had the velvet backings and they were moldy and i came across a giant centipede it Ew, really wasn't fun yeah. um a lot of them were missing their backs too but i did take some that were like not moldy um and did have their backings so except I, for those two don't have their back yeah but these have their back. some of them do some of them don't but they're really nice vintage frames and like at the thrift store i don't know about you guys but near us like these can be like four to six dollars each which yeah, i think is can. a little wild um so i have to look into seeing if i can find like plexiglass or like i guess plastic um screens and some backings to like make these stand which is what i want to do um but i saved what i could the rest were really moldy unfortunately um but yeah i got this and then we also you show us what they look like yeah so i think this one's actually like intact that one's nice and like fine and then there's like three of these design ones really nice and then this one they're all sort of that like faux gold brass type um i actually did pick up some bigger ones and then these were the three bigger ones like this one for example like has no um stand i mm -hmm. guess but i thought maybe i could just like put something or put it up against the wall you know this one's really nice yeah as it it's back one of the few that were not moldy and then this one's one of those like standing ones that open up um pretty cool pretty nice you know mm -hmm. we have some projects coming up where we would probably find these useful i'm thinking maybe numbers for our tables at our wedding um but i do have to see if i can like diy it where it doesn't cost as much as just getting them new you know what i mean if not we'll donate them we found an assortment of little friends we have mickey mouse tasmanian devil a little bear and a little dog is that what yeah, that one look how cute little these are dog. definitely older and vintage from like the 90s mm -hmm. 80s really cute janine's got her little frog who i think yep you're gonna give a new eye to yep so my frog friend here definitely needs a new paint job i'm gonna give him a new eye paint his body up a little bit and seal him up and put him outside i think he 
Yes, he has a year or two left on him. <laughs> I'll use him. And I'm also going to repaint this little welcome frog. I think he's really cute. And definitely has a year or two left on him as well. This tin airplane did end up being, well, somewhat tin. It's half tin and half plastic. It's made in Hong Kong. And I guess it's a United Airline um, toy. It is made in Hong Kong, as you can see. I did some research and really couldn't find this model. I think it's a 747. I'm not entirely sure. Um, you know, I might just end up donating this because it's pretty awkward to ship. I might, I don't know. We'll have to see what we're going to end up doing with this. But mm -hmm. I thought it was really cool and definitely worth like pulling out of the trash to donate um, since it is vintage and just different, you know? I mean, it's, it's pretty cool. It's, it's a little different. rough, but we don't come across plain toys very often. No, not, <laughs> not often. Um, I thought it was pretty cool. Definitely worth it to save from the trash. And the last thing I found was maybe my favorite find of the day. I haven't had a chance to fully clean this up, um, but I did take off that paper covering you guys saw. That was the original packaging. And I do think this is definitely like 60s, early 70s. Mm -hmm. It's sort of rough. Um, maybe some steel wool or some barkeeper's friend would clean this up. Um, it does hang this way and you can hang like towels from here. I think it's actually a spice rack. That's oh. what the packaging sort of spoke to but it definitely has that Asian influenced style that was very popular in the mid-century. Um, but I picked it up thinking we could show it this way mm -hmm. with the little things that we got in a huge haul that we haven't yet shown on YouTube yet. If you guys don't want to miss that video that's coming up, make sure to subscribe to this channel. We did something really fun the other day and we're really excited to show you guys mm -hmm. um but definitely subscribe so you don't miss that video because it's definitely different for us and it was a lot oh of yeah fun. and i can't wait to show you guys we're very excited but yeah i think this i was thinking Janine, i think that's kind of perfect for it would sort of help maybe we can even do this way can help display some of those pieces i mean i kind of like it the not... other way i don't know why but i i just prefer that direction i know me too and like with this we got so much stuff it's not all gonna fit on here but no it definitely also, won't a lot of them are so small you won't be able to see them behind yeah, this part so i'm thinking if it stands like this we could show you'll it be like able this. to see what we're yeah. talking about if it's just kind of sitting right yeah. up on top but cool piece if anything we'll use this and donate it to the thrift store and somebody else can enjoy it for years to come um so thank you guys so much for joining us i think that's about it um hit yeah. the like button if you enjoy these trash picking videos this wasn't our biggest haul if you guys enjoy these videos we have a whole playlist of trash picking videos where we've found some crazy stuff out of the mm -hmm. trash and we might find something crazy soon you never know you never know and we're going to continue doing it um this summer and into the fall so make sure to subscribe and also we have a whatnot sale this f upcoming friday if you guys haven't checked out our whatnot sales click on the link below to save 15 dollars off your first purchase on whatnot we're doing a vintage christmas sale and it's the second to last one so of the year for us so we hope you guys join us on friday thank you so much for joining us today see you next time bye, bye.